One of my favorite things about Smash is how some characters are really brought to life with their animations. Koopas. Like take Ice Climbers. If it weren't for Smash, these pixelated ice children would literally be their only depiction of them. But now we have a distinguished look for them and some actual personality, for better or worse. Now this personality factor is really driven home by the taunts in Smash, which range from iconic Sobia moves to garbage. What the hell? The discrepancy is actually pretty crazy. Like you got a Shulk who's super British and has funny lines that are great even if you've never heard of a Xenoblade before. I'm really feeling it! Then there's Sheik who kinda just does things. Mm -hmm. All characters in Smash should have at least one solid taunt to work with. And so with the power of Wizard Sushi Z, we will be bestowing unfortunate characters with a good taunt to work with. And by a good taunt, I mean one that highlights a character's personality, or is a neat reference, or is just really funny. Hands off my to prove this mission, we're gonna talk about Snake. What they did to my boy is criminal. All three taunts being the box, Sure, they each have a slightly different animation and length that the box is on you. And killing with the box is always funny. But all three taunts? You're also stuck in the animation for so long, so it's a commitment to even use it. And my day is ruined. Nah, I got done dirty, so we need to bring some balance and honestly, give him two new taunts. First, we gotta go with one of Metal Gear's most iconic phrases. You're pretty good. It's a line that Ocelot says to Solid Snake that's obviously meant to give respect and admiration. So it would be sick to see Snake saying this in Smash as a way of respecting other fighters on the field. Also, it'd be kind of hilarious to spam it after someone f***ed up really badly. It's a bit too powerful. You're pretty good. The next time for him has to involve the iconic exclamation when you're caught in Metal Gear. I personally love that sound effect and see an example of it in subspace, but not in the actual game had me so disappointed. But now we can summon it whenever we want. Surely this will never get annoying and overused. But hey, honestly, if a taunt is annoying the shit out of you, that's how you know it's a great one. It's a taunt after all. Peach, for example, has taunts that do that really well. And even her windscreen is actually perfectly designed to tease and make fun. The thing is though, Daisy is usually known as a Mario princess with a big personality. You can kind of see it in Smash, but nothing too crazy. Her taunts aren't bad either, but I was so disappointed that again for the classic Hi, I'm Daisy! However, the real Daisy Goldmine is Mario Strikers Charge. She's so f***ing funny, literally any win animation would be perfect. Though the one I went for with Smash is the spiciest one, literally. I would just ban this the entire match personally, it's too funny, too clean, too perfect. Another princess I could use better rep in Smash is Sheik. Honestly got one of the worst collection of taunts in the game, she was onto nothing. This taunt is a weird flex, this taunt has no personality, and this taunt actually has a sound effect when you use it, which I didn't know. But it's still weak as f***. Yet, the one I chose for Sheik here was like the easiest possible taunt ever. Like how did no one on the dev team think of this? It's like the whole purpose of Sheik in Ocarina of Time. The song is literally called Sheik's Theme 2, fits perfect, and is majestic as hell. Another melee character who is universally known for garbage taunts is Dr. Mario. Bro is not cooking at all. The bug squash, trash. The shoulder pat, trash. The pill flip, moderately interesting at best. But to be fair, there are very few dog references to work with in the first place. In all his games, he kind of just stands there with no riz whatsoever. In Dr. Mario for the Game Boy Advance, he has a little win animation that's kind of cute though. So we rock with that. A character who has insane references for their moveset though is Mr. Game & Watch. Like wow, if you just look through a couple of his old games, you will find a reference for literally every single one of his moves. It's very well done. Some easily recognizable ones are his up tilt, down smash, side B, down B, back air, forward tilt. I could go on and on. Well, not bad per se. None of his taunts capture this incredible attention to detail in references. So we're gonna do just that by taking this guy from the 1983 game Lifeboat, where there's a little jig every time a person is saved. Look at the moves, baby, hell yeah. Olimar Loki got some moves for his taunts too, but nothing too crazy. I personally hate playing as Olimar, but if he had a great taunt, I could be convinced to play him more. Happens every time with Zelda. I'm knowing to play, but if I can spam down taunt, I'm having a blast. And so leading the stretch he does here with his Pikmin is actually so adorable. Pikmin 4 really does a good job of showing how funny these little guys can be. But alright, we had enough Q. Time for some badass. Ganon doesn't have bad taunts at all. In fact, they're all pretty good. But none of them really have an Ocarina of Time reference, which is the game this Ganon is represented by. I guess you can count the float here, but it ain't as crazy as what he does in the game. So instead, we're gonna flash the Triforce of Power, an icon we don't see in Smash in general, much outside of the links with their final smashes. 
Tell me this isn't such a raw ass flex. It'll let Ganon be top tier in something for once. Another badass taunt, or at least was, belongs to Wolf. I have never seen a character fall off harder in matter, terms of taunts scared? than Wolf. Like they actually massacred every ounce of cool he had. Like I still don't know what the f this is. You can barely hear what he's saying with this one. And this one, sure, it's passable. So today we're gonna paste that cool taunt back on and make him say the exact same line, even if it's an entirely different voice actor. What's the matter, scared? Doesn't matter. It's still cool enough that it works. Also, side note, but while looking this up, I forgot how cool Brawl Wolf's voice was. Just listen to this final smash line. We're gonna have fun with this thing. Speaking of cool, it's time for Squirtle to show up. My boy is adorable in his taunts, but a little too much though, you know? None really stick out to me, they're all just alright. It honestly feels a little one-dimensional. Like, I know it's not canon, but I know in the Pokemon show, Squirtle was depicted with a baller, even cocky personality. What we need is some swag, let him reveal himself as a member of the Squirtle Squad, as he so rightfully earned. While that's a more iconic Pokemon reference, one that went more under the radar was a whole Bulbasaur festival that had him going like... So here, we got a semi-grown Ivysaur, reminiscing about the customs of his people, giving him a proud sort of look as he remembers the energy of the group while they cheer him on in the background. Another proud fellow we got in Smash is Morgana, who is not even a fighter. Bro is there for every single one of Joker's taunts, which is neat, but like, they're more Phantom Thieves than just Morgana. There are a couple we could have chosen from, and while I might be slightly biased, I think Ryuji deserved the spot the most. A homie character that's got the perfect energy for a Smash taunt. And he's got the perfect voice line for it too. This is effing awesome, huh? Okay, so we have the same deal as Joker, where Link doesn't have any bad taunts. They're very majestic and in line for his personality. They aren't flashy though, and using them won't make me feel like I'm being toxic, so what's the point? So we're gonna put a more Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom approach where we whip out that Sheikah Slate and yup, Link just took a selfie on your ass. Infinitely better. Another character with the same issue is Samus, who has fine taunts, but they're just very... whelming. So instead, we add an homage to the iconic thumbs up Samus does at the end of missions. Now while it is a neat reference, it is very plain, not really solving her issue of whelming taunts. But that's okay, because now we can give Dark Samus what well, might be the best fucking taunt ever, and actually abandon any reason to play Samus now, which works, because Samus, I hate playing against her. Okay, now we got Simon, who you'll have to hear me out for. Now we know Simon Belmont as an iconic video game character, but he actually doesn't have too many iconic, recognizable poses. No power-up or notable victory animations to work with. He has the whip, of course, that he messes with in Smash, but it's hard to really do much without it looking like a forward air or f tail or just one of his already pretty regular taunts. Not like anything is more perfect than the one windscreen animation he has anyway. So we modernized the man himself and well... Oh my god! We made him do the actual whip. I have no regrets. Thanks for watching, fellas. Let me know which one you like most, and if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to see more. Alright, catch you later, fellas.